there's a higher resolution here. Okay, now that's it. Red of light, Savior, Redeemer. Wonderful Counselor, Holy One. Come on, let me see. Red of light, Savior, Redeemer. You are. Wonderful Counselor, Holy One. Jehovah Jireh, Elohim. Very, very bright vowels. Very bright vowels. Not a very open mouth, which is going to give you a lot of brightness and i would say just a little bit of nasality it gives us sort of a brassy character and then when she goes down on her runs she'll drop the nasality yeah. hey. dancing with me up there come on let me give you a shout There. Resurrected Son and Righteous One, Mighty Strong Tower, Beloved One. You're also You are Mighty Strong Tower, Beloved One. He's the famous God of the world and the earth. King of kings, but of true royalty. lot of use of the cricoid tilt for belting purposes. Really, really nice job. When I say cricoid tilt, it's belting. It's the same thing. They're synonymous with each other. Because that's how you do it. That's how you belt. Cricoid tilt. So, um, to explain what she's doing here, um, your, your larynx is constructed with a couple of different cartilages, right? So the thyroid cartilage is around the vocal folds and they have two horns. And when you hear vibrato, that's the, that's the, th um, thyroid cartilage literally tilting like this. And what that does is because the vocal folds are connected to the thyroid cartilage, like the back here and over here, when you tilt it, um, they get stretched out. And the muscles responsible for tilting are not terribly strong, and so there's a natural sort of oscillation which creates the vibrato. The cricoid is below that, is below the thyroid cartilage. And when you tilt that, the vocal folds fatten up. Um, and belting is almost always done with a high larynx. I think it has to be. But you can make up for the fact that the larynx goes up by tilting the thyroid cartilage as the cricoid tilts, right? So she's going in between those two and then using them both together as well. Um, and that takes a lot of, of practice <laughs> and playing around. It's really, really not something a lot of singers can do, but great singers can do it. And so I encourage everybody to learn classical. And if you are learning classical, I encourage you to uh, learn to belt. You should really, you know, it's your instrument. It can do a lot of things. You should be experimenting and playing and be creative because that's when really interesting phrasing can happen. Technique is a toolbox. You can do great stuff with just a hammer, nails, and a couple pieces of wood, but you can also make interesting and intricate things when you have a bigger toolbox. You
Yeah. So that's like a little bit of um, reinforced falsetto. Like it, it shows up a lot in metal. That is just, I love that sound. It's so cool. That's how a lot of tenors get past high C um, and go up is they do that. I apologize for yawning. It's not the same. <laughs> I've been up for a while. Hey! I gotta be careful so my wig don't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yes. Nice. Jesus live. Yes. Jesus lives. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. She's a very generous performer. She's given a lot right here. There's a lot of energy, a lot of feels, a lot of hype. This is exhausting stuff. It's really tiring. And it's easy to phone it home when you perform a lot. Um, but you can't. You can't do that. When, you know, it's just not right for the to the audience. It's not fair. To, to phone it in and she's doing the opposite of phoning it. she's giving it all and that's i respect the crap out of that because y'all if you've never done it before it's exhausting and tiring in a way i can't describe Yes, she's on her knees, but the posture has to be really good. She's she's frying on the top. And if you put too much breath behind frying, it will cause damage. And so you have to, have to, have to use very little air. And a big part of that is having good posture. Because if you contract the torso, you're going to get like a sudden burst of air because the, the whole lungs are tied to the torso. So if you contract or your posture is like this, the, the air will come out too much. So she's on her knees, but still has great posture. That's nuts. So just, just to clarify, if you use fry, um, it's just, there's only so much you can use it before your voice kind of gets hoarse. Um, because inherently, even, even if it's done expertly, inherently it, it's, it's, um, tiring because the folds are gets just slamming together like that. So there's no way to do it consistently where, um, your voice won't pay the price for it. Um, and, and, you know, I'm not saying like you'll get a vocal hemorrhage. I think you get a vocal hemorrhage if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, she's not going to have a vocal hemorrhage, but she's going to be tired.
Let me catch my breath. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. I'm a big girl. And that was a lot of activity. <laughs> she is infectious. I love it. She's just... You know... The best thing you can do as a performer is just be honest. Don't put on anything that doesn't come from within in an honest way. And just wow. Like, she gives all of that. It's very honest. And she's like, oh, I love it. I know I ain't supposed to do much talking. I'm going to keep it moving. But sometimes we can live in our minds. And the enemy can use what we beat ourselves with. Yeah. And try to make us victim. But I dare you to turn to your neighbor and say, you are not a victim. You are a victor. You ought to celebrate if you believe the power that's in your tongue. I crucify the flesh. A lot of people say, you don't got to do all of that. But if I'm not mistaken in my deep study, when David worshiped and praised the Lord, he shook off his clothes. Turn your neighbor and say, don't judge. I love the message here. Don't judge me. We come from all walks of life, so you don't know what I've been through. You don't know how the devil tried to snatch my mind. How the devil tried to hold me hostage of my past. But Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, I have plans for you. I have plans for you. I have plans for you. Rachel. To prosper. You know, social media will compare ourselves. Social media, everybody look like they got money. <laughs> but I believe in the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. He's an indescribable God. Too much talking. I'm ready when you are. But my daddy said when I began to think about what God has done. I just want to throw it out there. Um, I just want to relate for a second to what she's saying. Um, the internet is a wonderful place to share things, projects, your voice, uh, anything you're doing that's personal. But the internet is also because of its anonymity. People will come out of the woodwork and try to beat you down and try to be nasty to you. And the best thing you can do is not come back at them. The best thing you can do is just mute them or block them. And that does wonderful things for your health. As someone who gets hundreds of, of YouTube comments a, a week, they're not all nice. And I just, I just see, I just, you know, it takes me like less than a second to be like, yeah, that's not nice. And I just block them. I'd use her from channel. And like, so I, I really identify with what she's saying. It's really important to not let that crap get to you. Um, and it's hard, but just practice. Nobody's thinking in this moment. But he said, when I begin to think about what God has done, I can't help but thank him. All right, he's an indescribable God. From the highest of highs to the depths of the sea. Let's worship him together. Creations are revealing your Majesty, oh, from the colors of fall to the fragrance of spring, oh, every creature unique in the song that it sings, yeah, all exclaiming, indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the this sky time. and you know them by name. You are amazing. He's all powerful. He's untamable. This is a great pick to do a ballad after the crazy, crazy thing that she just did at first. Like she's saying, she's tired. Like I said, with frying, it's going to make your vocals tired. So she picks a song everyone knows, 
um, and then lets the audience do that. And, I, you know, I used to think this was like a really cheap trick because rock singers do it all the time because rock singers don't really usually have good technique. So they'll hand it off to the audience. Um, and I used to think that that was not very good. But then you realize, like, you know, folks who sing a lot sing a lot. And so it's it's a smart way to engage the audience in a way they like to be engaged and then also take it off of yourself for a little bit and give it takes humility. You know what I mean? It's it's like, here, we're going to do this together. Ready to worship in here. Who sees like me won't stand and tell them where they should go. Or oh, see heavenly storehouses laying in snow. She's doing a really good job of navigating um the vocal fatigue that she has you can almost like you almost would never know that she's vocally tired and this is the sign of a really good expert uh it's not easy when your folds get a little swollen to navigate because they they just don't approximate um which is to say they don't come together in, in a reliable way once they're swollen um, so you have to kind of feel it out because, you know, the folds don't swell in the same way. And that's what makes it hard is that like there, you know, one will be like this and it depends on what's happening. So it, the connection between the, the folds is really unpredictable when they, when they get swollen. So you have to have a, a mountain of experience to be able to navigate it like she's doing. Like if it gets squirrely for like a millisecond, she'll fix it right off the bat. And that's that's how you know someone's really good. You imagine the sun, it gives source to its light. Yeah, it conceals it to bring us the coolness of night. If you're ever vocally tired, um, using a lot of nasality is a really good idea because it relieves a lot of breath pressure um, because you open the nasal passages. And you can actually feel this. Um, uh, the, the back of your mouth is what's responsible for that, what's called the soft palate, the velum, if we're getting technical. And if it's down, it'll go through your nose. Um, and again, that just kind of relieves a lot of breath pressure and makes singing a lot more gentle. She's not, she's not using nasality exclusively, but it's a smart thing to do. Again, this is what I'm talking about. This is how you know she's an expert. If she's vocally tired, she's given herself advantages here. It's just a lot of real wise experience right here. None can, come on. Indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky. And this is what's really impressive of when you include the audience um, with a song that they really know. She's not matching the time of the audience. It's, so it's like a call and response that is not so metered. And so, it, it, you know, it's really, it takes a lot of musicianship to know where you are. So she sets them up as the call and response. That's really, really smart. Yes. You are amazing, God. Wow. He's incomparable, nothing can compare to the God we serve. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. You see the dogs of my heart. And yes. you love me the yes. same. Come on, let's lift our hands and make it personal right here. Describable. You place the stars. 
so when you're um belting is interestingly enough is a lot more consistent than thyroid tilt um you can you can sing really 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 reliably if you have good command of tilting your cricord cartilage and she's just such an expert and it's again it's more brilliance it's more adapting to what kind of gave her some fatigue um and she's just adjusting and making such smart decisions because obviously this is fantastic right like it sounds really good right and that's like she just is so flexible and knows how to sound great because she has so many options and uses them brilliantly Yes. What did like again? I can't say it enough times. She's a generous performer. She's just giving it. It's so good. special. 